This is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to provide a quick demonstration on how effective Smartsheet is as a tool for logging and managing your risks and issues on projects. Now, many organizations will be familiar in using Excel for this, but the key differentiator here is that while Smartsheet can provide pretty much all the same benefits as managing risks and issues in Excel, it offers so, so much more in terms of the workflow and visibility. So let's have a look. So we're going to start off here with the dashboard for portfolio view. If I scroll down to the dashboard, you can see on here I've got the portfolio risks and issues. And so again, one of the key benefits straight away is that you've got a portfolio view of the risks and issues uh, across that portfolio. So if I click on to here, for example, it's going to take me into a report which has got a list of the various risks and issues coming through. And again, in here using the report, I've got it filtered. So I've only got it showing me the raids types, which are in this case risks. And in this case, the priority, I just want to see the red items at a portfolio level. So you pull them through and this information comes through. So I can see at a summary level what these are. And if I want to dig in deeper, I can actually go and see the full raid log for Breathe Easy um, in this case. So coming back out for a moment here, and I'm going to go back up to the portfolio view. So that is to show you for the risks. And again, whilst it might be in the same document, which is the RAID log, and we'll go into that in a moment, I've got it differentiated between the risks and the issues. And again, it's always good to know the difference between your risks and your issues here. So also on the dashboard, I'm showing you, so at a glance, you can see the numbers of risks, actions, issues, decisions. In this case, Personally, I would always call them risks, assumptions, issues, and dependencies. But again, different uh, methodologies have different definitions there. So let's dive in now to the key portfolio issues. There's only two logs at the, mo at the moment here on projects, all clear and breathe easy. And again, you saw on the previous view, I had it grouped. So it, it had the numbers of items by type. Again, you can list these, so it's done in priority order, by date, etc. But let's now dive into the RAID log for Project All Clear. So in here, you can see very much as if this has been in an Excel sheet as well, so very much a spreadsheet format. But again, you've got the columns, and this is set up so that it will automatically um, create, so I can't put anything in this field, that will automatically generate the number um, once I create the reference for this as well, and that'll be based on whether it's a risk or issue. So again, you've got, I've got, I add in a, the option to have this column here. So depending on how you've got your dashboard set up, you can actually say which ones, which are the top three, for example, to appear on your dashboard. So you can restrict it like this, or you can just create a filter which says, show me all the red items. And so you'll see that whilst these are additional items, the risk wasn't showing on the portfolio dashboard because it wasn't a red risk. It was just the, um, the red risks showing for the other side. If this one had been red, it would show on the dashboard. So you set up the various columns you want um, as normal in terms of what type is it. So in this case, let's just say we're gonna add a new one and I'm gonna add in a new, um, in this case, I'm gonna create an issue. And we're gonna say that, so supplier, delays impacting launch. So that's the headline and issues with items shipped from China. Now delaying ability. To launch. Excuse my spelling there. Okay, now on this bit, you can select what is the impact. Well, in this case, it's pretty high. And the in this case, it's an issue. So what's the probability? Well, it is, no, the probability or urgency, well, it is very high as well. So what you can do is you see this is then, I've got a formula here which looks at the settings I've got here and it's high, high. That means it's overall is rated as a red. Um, I'm gonna put in what date has it been raised. So I'm gonna put in today's date and I'm gonna say it has been raised by Rich Coles in this case. So and who's going to own it? Let's just say I'm going to own it for, for this case. And then action plan, I'm going to put to be confirmed um, for the purpose of this uh, demo and then comments and updates. So again, you've got all the various columns you're going to have here and when it's closed. 
So this information here, and it's going to go in, and I'm going to set it as um, submitted. Now you can see it's already generated a number here. Now the other piece that's uh, that's going to happen as a result of this is you have automation which exists. So I'm just going to open it and manage workflows. You can see that when a new item is added or changed, it's going to send an alert to Rich Coles in this case. So again, any person who submits a risk or issue or um, items, then the make sure that project manager in this case, Rich Coles, is going to get the visibility of that. So again, a really powerful piece here. Then the project manager can go in and say, right, I've got a new item raised. Yep, okay, I'm agreeing to that one. I'm going to put it as open. And therefore, depending on workflows, you can then send out that information to other people. You can, um, again, there's various things you can do in terms of you can send that to people, etc., etc. You can comment and say to others what you want to happen about it. So I'm going to say to um, at Fred, um, who please look into ASAP. Excuse my spelling. Um, and then a message goes to Fred related to that one. So again, really powerful things that you can do in terms of your risks and issues here. So I'm going to come out of this for a moment. I'm going to save it. And if I go back to the project for all clear, so I'm just going to get myself to all, project all clear um, a moment. So go into project all clear just to demonstrate also if you want to make it very easy. So I'm now on the project dashboard for all clear. Um, then for people to raise a new raid item, for example, you've got a link down here. And again, people can submit that by a form as well, rather than adding it to the sheet here. So you make it really easy for people to know, right, we've got a new risk issue action, so new risk, etc. X, Y, Z um, goes in, X, Y, Z. And then the Im Im impact on this one is it's going to be low and probability urgency. It's a, so put a definition, I'm going to put low, date raise, I'm going to put in today's date. Again, on this case, so 16th today, raised by demo proactive, and excuse my spelling, and action plan TBC in this case, and submit. So that's gone through. If I just go back to, so this is all clear, and I'm gonna to go to the, um, the raid log for all clear, and source sheet, so, Go around this in a slightly longer way to find it but in this case i'm just going to go to the all clear project and here i'm going to go to the raid log then you can see the item which i've just submitted is in here again it took me slightly longer than normal to to get to the raid log just because of the way i was in different sheets um, at that moment in time but you can see how simple and easy it is for someone to submit a risk issue or whatever um, in terms of how you're using your raid log for whether it's actions or assumptions and decisions or dependencies again these go into here and you've got that central piece but more powerfully you can have that view where it all rolls up to a portfolio view at the dashboard and everything is so automatic and visible in that side as well so just looking here in terms of breathe easy and i'm just going to refresh the portfolio dashboard to see if we've added any more items and for example we should now see that down here that um, the key portfolio risks and raid log, budget underestimated, supplier delays. So these items are all linked in. And so that shows you how quick and easy it is for items to come through onto the, to the sheet here. OK, so trust that's been useful and more items on using Smartsheet for project and portfolio management to follow. Many thanks for watching.